Hi guys, welcome to this magical performance for Not The Gift. What do I mean by that? Well, this year, 2017, saw a big trick release that magicians went mad for, and it was called The Gift. Now, as we got to the end of 2017, when this is being filmed, we thought we'll go over and show you a variation of that performance. So what I'm going to do is to do two performances of the gift, or an alternative to the gift, uh, but working in a different way. Now I don't have anyone here to help me, so you'll just have to imagine that we've got a spectator that's helping us, and I'm going to do two different variations. See what you think. Hi, welcome to this magical demonstration. And what I'd like to do is to give you this gift box, but not just yet. You see, inside it, it holds my cards. And I'm going to take those out, but there is a gift which you can hear is inside the box. And what I'm going to do is to get you to look after that throughout this routine. Now, the cards are just regular. And what I'm going to do is out of all of these cards, you can see they're just regular cards. I'm going to deal them face up onto the table and count. And when you get the urge, just say stop at any time. Okay, now I will point out that the cards I'm dealing are the ones we are going to eliminate. Remember that. I'm going to get rid of these cards. So here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, stop. 13. You want to stop there. Okay, so you've stopped here. Now the interesting thing is that I did say we're going to eliminate these. And I do. I want to eliminate these cards. But why am I spraying them? Because I want you to see that they are just a regular deck. And there's no duplicate cards or clumps of cards. They are just regular. But you could have had any one of those. We'll get those to one side. Now, you stopped here. And I'm going to put that down without looking at it. But if you had carried on and had some additional cards, you can see you could have had any of these cards here. So, the card you stopped at. Remember the gift inside the box. I want you, sir, to open that box. I'm not going to go near it. You open the box, and can you see there's a gift inside? Just a little piece of paper. Tip that out. The box is empty. And if we open up this gift, it is a prediction. And if we open it up, hopefully you can see that. It says nine of clubs. Okay, not sure if the camera can see that, but it does say the nine of clubs. The card that you freely stopped at happens to be the nine of clubs. Hi, and thank you for joining me for this magic presentation. You're probably wondering what that is on the table. Well, it's a gift. It's a gift box, and there's something in there for you. And I'm going to, well, in fact, before I give you that, let me just remove my cards. I do use the box to keep my cards in. However, inside here is a gift, which you can hear. And you can have that as soon as the trick's over, but I'm going to leave that in front of you, and I want you to look after that. I'm not going to touch that again. The cards inside are just regular playing cards. Okay, and we'll just give these a quick shuffle, uh, and you can see that they are just a regular pack of cards. What I'm going to do is to deal the cards onto the table. Okay, and I'm going to count, and I want you to call stop at any point. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There, you're happy stopping there, but you could have carried on. But if we take a look, you actually stopped at this card. But this is the interesting thing. I want you to examine the other cards because you stopped at about a quarter of the way down in the pack. Look at all those cards you got rid of. The card you stopped at in the 17th position was the Nine of Clubs. 
I want you to open the box, look inside, there's a small gift, a piece of paper, it's a prediction. You take it out, the box can be examined, open up the prediction, and there is the Nine of Clubs. The two routines you just saw performed are very simplistic, nothing special at all, but the props do help sell the trick. This box here is totally unfaked. It's a wooden box so it lasts for years and in the UK you can pick these up from a, a shop called The Works and you can buy them online and they cost a pound for that solid wooden box. And it's the right size for a pack of cards and your prediction. Now there is only one prediction because you're forcing the card on, but let's just go over the two variations. Now the, the, the second performance I did was a blatant out. And what I mean by that is that it's a common card force used by magicians. Now people that are new to magic say it'll never work. Trust me, for over 30 years I've done this particular force and it works every time, it's great. Just very briefly, magicians watching this will probably have guessed it already, but the card you want to force on the spectator is on the top of the pack. And that's the great thing about this over the gift trick that's been uh, an amazing uh, trick this year, is with this the cards can be borrowed. There's no setup whatsoever. Okay, apart from the fact you need to get the card you want forced or the one that matches your prediction to the top of the pack. You take the cards out, you deal the cards down, and when someone says stop, you don't have to count the cards, you say stop. You blatantly turn the cards over and say you stopped at this card here. Now, to emphasize this and make it a little bit more. Um, appealing is that I tend to slide the top card off to say look you chose this and then I spread these immediately to say look you could have had any of these so you're fanning these cards out you can then flip them over now this is the convincer you flip these over can you see that it looks as though the card that they dealt to or stopped at really is quite a few cards from the top of course it's not and you slide that out the cards can be examined the box can be examined and the prediction is correct now if you if you don't trust that one there is another one that you can do and the first routine I did is one that I use on and off quite a while I've got the nine of clubs on top of the pack then what I'm going to do is to take a few cards only about five or six cards and I'm going to turn them over and put them to the bottom. Now these go into the card case. What makes this particular trick a little bit stronger than the commercial version is the fact that you give the box to the spectator before you do the rest of the trick. So you don't have to worry about is it going to work and everything. The trick's done. They have that. You then remove the cards, pull them out, and if you want to, just keep them in the hand and spread them and you can flip a few over to show that it is a regular deck. Don't spread the bottom because it's got those cards reversed. This is it, and you'll get away with it every time, even if you, you're screaming at the screen now and saying I can't do misdirection you don't need any people don't know what's coming as with all magic so when you deal the cards face up you tell them you're going to eliminate these you deal the cards and they say stop now watch what happens as soon as they say stop you stop there now watch this hand look how natural it is now I know that it seems obvious because you guys are now watching for that, but in performance the audience will never know. You stopped. You then just casually do this. You stopped here. Now let me just spread these cards out. I want you to see that they are different. 
But can you see what I've just done there? I've turned the pack over. This is now the bottom of the pack. So all I did is under the misdirection of just casually spreading these out, I've turned the pack over, simple as that. You can then just take the next card off. You can pick up the rest of the cards and just turn over a few more because you did put a few reversed at the bottom. And then you can just grab these and put these to one side. And there's the force. It's a great force on there. You might want to try that. But what I like about this, the trick has the same effect. The outcome is exactly the same as the commercial one, but you haven't got to worry about the box not working properly or being made of cardboard. This is made of solid wood. As I said, it costs one pound or around a dollar if you're not in the UK, or you can make one or any cardboard box. And you just need one prediction. So there's no outs, there's no fake decks. The deck is regular. But what I wanted to talk to you on this video about was the fact that the trick that's been commercially available called the gift is very similar to a trick that I've done for years using cards and an envelope instead of a box. So here's my performance of a trick that I've done for many years. It's nothing new to magicians and it has a similar outcome as the gift. So this is what I used to perform uh, using a regular deck of cards. And what you used to say is that you're going to make a prediction and pop it in this um, empty envelope. I don't know where you can, if the camera can see that. It is empty. And what I'm going to do is just to write. Now, I don't want the camera to see what I'm writing. So I'm just going to take this piece of blank paper and I'm going to write a prediction on there. Okay, but I don't want the camera to see okay and in fact if I just fold this so whoops got a little bit of ink on there oh well that's torn it now I've gone and torn the piece of paper okay but trust me I have written a prediction on there let me just fold this up and I'm going to pop this in here only one prediction goes in I'm going to seal this envelope up on there Okay, and this is going to remain in full view all the time. You then come to the cards, and what we're going to do here is take out the cards, and they are just a regular pack. And what I'm going to get the spectator to do, now you can give the cards to a spectator to deal with these, but what I would do is I'd start dealing, and I would say to them, look at the cards, they're all different. As we do them face up, most positions do them face down. But I want you, as I'm dealing, just to say stop at any point. Stop. You want to stop there. Okay. Now, the card you stopped at is this one here. Okay. Remember, you could have stopped at any of these or any of these. The three of spades. Now remember we sealed in this envelope a prediction. In fact let me just tear it open. Okay. A prediction. And I want to do this at fingertips to prove that I'm not cheating. Okay. Now I don't know if the camera above me can see. Let me just see if I can get that in. But hopefully you can see that there is my prediction the envelope is empty, there's nothing else inside. Let me just tip out my prediction. Okay, the envelope is empty. And if we open up this one at this, okay, and I've got three of spades. Okay, so the trick you just saw is one that I've performed for many years. There's nothing special about it. If you read every magic book from the library, you'll see exactly how that works. It does use an envelope that's been faked. And what you need is a couple of these envelopes. And what you do is you, you cut one and put one inside the other. And it has more than one compartment. 
So you've actually got three of these pieces of paper with the three cards that you're going to hopefully force on the spectator. So that's how that works. So we've got three of these and two of them are already in the envelope. And depending how you open it, if you open it with the one that you put in there, then that's the one that you wrote. In my case, it was the two of hearts that I wrote on there. But already inside this, in the secret compartments, with this inside, there was one that had the three of spades and one that had the, I think it was the four of something, four of diamonds. So I had three options of what they were going to choose. And depending if they chose the, the, the two, I would open up the envelope and pull out the one that I wrote. If it was the three, I would rip one end of this and tip out what was in this end or rip open the other end. I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of this. If you read any uh, magician's book from your local library, it's a very simplistic idea, but it's a, an envelope with multiple pockets in that are sealed up and depending which end you tear or open, you can have three different outcomes. But that's similar to the gift in the fact that it had more than one outcome. Now the trick works primarily because of the pack. Now there's been a bone of contention with uh, magicians about this particular deck. It goes under various names. But it's basically got your three false cards spread throughout the deck. And if I show you that, there's my first false card the four of diamonds, then I've got a regular card, then my second false card is a three, then a normal card, then the two of hearts, a normal card, the four again, normal card, so you can see they're interleaved between regular cards. Now what I do is I put about ten cards on top that are just regular, so there's no duplicates. Then what I do, as I start to deal I carry on talking I say, look, I'm going to deal cards face up. What I want you to do is to call stop at any point you like. Now, by the time I've dealt down about 10 cards, they're all different. There's nothing to worry about. Once I finish talking, hopefully they've seen you've dealt all these. They should say stop pretty soon. So as I carry on, now if they stop on one of your false cards, then that's the card you'll use. But say if they got me to deal there and they said stop at that point, you know the next card is going to be a false card. You've just seen the four, so this is going to be the three, and it is on there. But that's my trick that I've been doing for years. The one with the box, hopefully that's given you a few ideas of how you can make a, an outstanding trick that's available commercially very simply just by forcing one card and I'm sure you guys have got other ways of forcing cards but that's my couple of uh, variations there. From Totally Magic we'll see you in the new year.